Russian psychological operations are now being generated at the rate of rabbits multiplying. And that, I can honestly tell you, is an excellent indicator. But why so, we'll talk about that a little later, but now, about another psychological operation, the executor of which was Lieutenant Colonel of the US Army. But, I want to point out in advance that one should not pay attention to the fact that a certain former Lieutenant Colonel of the US Army became the repeater. The Russians have quite a few pseudo-expert agents in the States. Colonel McGregor or Tulsi Gabbard, for example. The current prophet, however, is Daniel Davis, who warns the AFU against a counterattack, stating that any active actions by the Ukrainian army will so exhaust it, regardless of the success or failure of those actions, that it will no longer be able to resist Russian forces. This lieutenant colonel not so long ago predicted the transition of the war in Ukraine to the nuclear format, and much earlier, in July 2022, he stated that the AFU was losing over a thousand soldiers daily and soon there would simply be no one to fight. But the main thing is that another information dump from the so-called respectable analyst is already spreading through the Russian media, and trying to integrate into the Ukrainian information field through the grey segment. Remember, two months ago I said that psychological operations will come from different sources all over the world. This is one of the elements. The main purpose of this throw-in is to dissuade the Ukrainians and their partners from conducting a counteroffensive and to catalyze the topic of negotiations. In turn, when the counteroffensive takes place, Russian propaganda can manipulate its results for a long time to come. Before I continue, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, it will help to promote it. For example, if the counteroffensive liberated an area or two, or perhaps more, Russian propaganda will for months continue to quote Daniel Davis, so what if we fled, but the Afu fighters are now so weak that they can't fight at all. In general, let's keep our critical thinking and prepare for another wave of manipulation. But why is this a good sign? It's simple. The Times or New York Times, McGregor and Daniels, Russia is pulling all the strings and all the contacts it can right now for its psychological operations. Panic Operations the enemy is panicking, realizing that not only will the Ukrainian counteroffensive not be able to be stopped, but that they cannot predict where it will come from, by what forces, in what directions, in what sequence, and in what scenario. And they did the only thing they could. Generate fakes. The more fakes, defeatist, discrediting, manipulating consciousness and perception, the better they think it will be. Because they can't think of anything better. And this is good news. The Russian military command is now in a panic and confusion. And tomorrow I will tell you about another high-profile fake of the last few days, if you are interested. Yes, there will be a video tomorrow, don't miss it.